Hi everyone, nice to see you again. And uh, today I'm gonna bring you a flow that is uh, um, um, that is targeting our Manipura chakra, which is the solar plexus chakra, which is a um, little bit above um, above our navel uh, around here. And what this chakra does is is like it regulates normally our you know intestine area, our stomach, liver, uh, our lung. So it's um, it's a very important chakra. It's for the internal organs and also the it's also a energy center that's normally responsible for our overall personal power self-esteem and confidence so i hope the um, you enjoy this flow and uh, you all get the benefits from this flow all right let's start by laying down our back and bring the knees to your chest just hold them and breathe here for three rounds of breaths you can gently touch your shins you can close your eyes you can just rotate your ankle a little bit to different directions let's just give us a little bit of love before we start When you are ready, let's uh, extend one leg, uh, the left leg out and just bring, bring in your right knee towards your chest. Give it a bit squeeze here. You can keep your eyes closed still, just to feel. Take three rounds of breath throughout your nose. and let's switch sides bring the left knees into the chest and extend your right leg out make sure that your low back is in touch with the floor don't arch give a bit of squeeze couple rounds inhale and exhale here and gently press both feet onto the ground bend your knees place the feet a little um, behind a little behind your hips and your arms uh, on the side of your body and let's come into a, bri uh, a bridge pose inhale here exhale gently lift your hips and your pubic bone up towards the sky extend your low back engage with your both sides you feel the engagement of your both inner side and don't open your knees try to bring the knees close to each other hands firmly on the floor gaze up let's stay here for three rounds of breaths Feel the stomach open to the sky. Take the energy in from, from the sky, from the air. Let's gently bring our hips down vertebra at a time. And stay here for one round of breaths. And let's slowly transition our body into a Navasana boat pose. Slowly come out, up to your um, to a crunch position and lift your legs out and bring your arms around side your torso, chest open and slowly bring your body up. A little shaking is fine shoulders widen chest out stay here for three rounds of breath you can do it hold your belly button in and slowly bring your feet down let's come onto 
all fours. And let's have like five rounds of cat and cows. Inhale, bring your belly down to the floor and your chest up. Gaze up. Imagine your chest try to cough out of your um, your arms and bring it to the toward the sky. Exhale, round your back, tuck your navel in, and gaze towards your navel button. And coming into this cat position like an angry angry cat. Inhale again, arch the back, gaze up, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Three rounds more at your own pace with your breath. In and out. At the last one, come onto all fours, tabletop position and inhale raise your right arm all the way to the sky open up your chest to the right exhale thread a needle like threading a needle all the way bring your right arm towards the left side of your mat and place your right cheek on the floor your left hand can come into a bind Try to touch the right side, right upper side. If, if you cannot, just hold it at lower back area, like this. And stay here for three rounds of breaths and try to focus on the stretching sensation from your right shoulder to your right back, lower back. Press down with your right hand and lift yourself all the way up and right hand down and let's bring it on to the other side. Inhale, left arm up pointing to the sky, open up your chest to the right uh, left side and exhale all the way down to the right. Right hand come into a bind, touching the upper side area of the left leg. Try to externally rotate your right shoulder, so that way you feel the more expansion throughout your chest. The rotation is coming from your chest and all the way to your low back. Don't forget about your breeze. And exhale, hands up, release. From here, and bring your arms all the way in front of you to the um, front side of your mat and bring your hip up. Stack on top of your knees. Bring your chest down and coming into this puppy dog pose. Your forehead can be placed on the mat or your chain on your mat depends on your range of flexibility. But the main focus here is to open up your chest and bring it into a extension and try to reach your chest to the floor. around the breath in out we let's release to um, bring our belly and pubic bone down to the mat come in move our body front and come into a sphinx pose balance on our forearms bring your collarbone widen your collarbones and bring your shoulders back away from your ears. Gaze forward. 
the back, the, 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 the top of your feet uh, firmly on, on the ground. This is a slight lower back, back bend pose. So just try to press down uh, through your pu pubic bone to the ground to protect your low back. And from here, let's tuck our hands underneath our shoulders and tuck the elbows in and come onto a baby cobra pose. Inhale. So down. Two more rounds. Inhale. So in. Out. At the end, let's bring our forehead on top of the mat and raise our arms alongside our body, palms facing each other, and use your core strength and back strength to lift your upper body up. Inhale, exhale, raise your feet. At, at about the same level with your heart, coming into a locust pose. Don't compress your neck, just try to lengthen your neck. Exhale, release. All right, the next pose, let's try to do it. If you cannot do it, and you can do another round of locust pose. Bend your knees and flex your, flex your toes. Um, bring your arms alongside of your ankle. Lock your hand, lock your hands onto your ankles. Take a big, big inhale, exhale, lift yourself up. Lift your chest, lift your legs and feet, kick your heels into the sky and open your chest. You feel the stretch of your shoulders here. Your knees are tucked in. Don't open like this, just tuck them in. Move around the breast, release. Let's come into a child's pose for five rounds of grounding breaths. Child's pose is also a very good counterbalance pose of um, any back bends. You can shake your body a little bit left to right just to release the tension that we just from the poses we just had. When you're ready, slowly round yourself up into all fours. Hands a little bit in front of you onto the mat, press into the mat, tuck your toes and bring your hips up into downward facing dog. Stay in this downward facing dog for three rounds of connecting breaths. Try to bring your chest closer to your sides. And stretch your shoulders. The shoulders should be away from your ears. Tuck your navel in. Breathe. Slowly tiptoe onto the front side of our mat and come into a forward bend. Bend your knees generously. Let your upper body dangle. You can hold the, each, um, the opposite of each elbows just to relax your entire upper body here. Keep your knees slightly bent here. Don't overstretch the hamstrings. And slowly inhale, let's round our entire upper body and raise up into standing while keeping your knees bent generously. 
When you are almost at the top of the position, keeping your knees bent, and let's come into a standing cat and cow. Inhale, open your chest to the sky, your hands on top of your thighs. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, open. Extend your chest. Exhale, round. Two more rounds at your own pace. And the last breath out. Inhale, standing. Raise your arms up. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Tadasana pose. All right, let's do one round of uh, sound salutation here just to um, a, warm up the entire body, bring the blood circulations over to our entire body. Just one round of sound salutation. Inhale, hands up, gaze up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Halfway up, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold forward. And bring your right leg behind you, knees down, come into a low lunge. Chest up, inhale here, exhale, bring your hands down. And come into a plank pose here, inhale here, exhale, knees chest down, knees chest chin down, and inhale high low cobra your choice exhale come back into a downward facing dog inhale bring your um, sorry bring your right leg in front left knee down inhale arms up chest out exhale here inhale exhale bring your hands down and bring your left foot to meet the right come into a forward fold once again inhale halfway lengthen exhale fold forward and inhale stand up into tadasana mountain pose all right from tadasana let's inhale raise up our arms up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lengthen Exhale, come into a downward facing dog. Stay here for three connecting breaths. Inhale, raise your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring it all the way in front of your hands and bring your left knee down. Inhale, arms up, low lunge. You can stretch your hips furthermore, try to bring them towards the ground. Inhale here, exhale, halfway split pose. Let's just flex your right toes and strengthen your right hamstring. Try to fold your body towards the right toes. Inhale, low lunge, arms up. Exhale, listen carefully. Let's do a half split pose with arms like airplane. Arms um, swing back towards the back side of the mat. It's a little bit um, wobbly. It's a balancing pose. And inhale, bring it all the way up again. Exhale, swing back. Inhale up, exhale, tuck the left toes if they're not tucked, and lift the right knee, come into a high lunge pose. Arms up, shoulders down, away from the ears. Stay here for one round of breaths. Inhale and exhale, come into a warrior two pose. Bend at your right knee. Open up your chest towards the right side, left side of the mat. 
Inhale, reverse warrior. Your right, your left hand touching your back side. Exhale. Extended side angle pose with the right hand pressed down onto the floor and right and left arm pointing towards the sky. You can try a bit of um, duration here if your uh, range of mobility allows. If not, just stay in this side angle pose and try to open your chest. And for those, if you can, try to come on and make a bind with your hands. First, open, uh, externally rotate your uh, left shoulders and try to reach the right side with your left fingers. And exhale, bring your right arm to hold your left hand. Bring your right hand to hold your left hand. Come into a bind and chest open. Gaze down or up at your choice. It's a balancing pose. Stay here for two more rounds of breath. Exhale, release. Right hand down, left arm up. And straighten your right knee. Bring your body up using your core strength and coming into a reverse triangle. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, coming into a triangle pose with your right hand down and left arm up, gaze up. Inhale here, exhale, bring your left arm all the way down and twist, uh, twist your body facing the front of your mat your left foot come a bit closer into a 45 degree angle and let's come into this extended arm extended pyramid pose bring your body towards your side your right side and your face forehead towards your right knee breathe in and exhale fold more the hips should be square facing the front of your mat. And from here, listen carefully. It's a little bit difficult transition, but let's try. Bend your right knee and come onto a warrior three pose, lifting your right leg up and flex your right foot, your heels uh, kicking towards the back of the room and your hip square coming into a warrior three pose. Your hands can be extended along your ears or together at heart center. Your choice. One more breath here. And let's come into a standing split pose. Bring your left leg all the way to the sky. Imagine that you try to reach your left toe towards the sky and bring your face closer to your right shin. The strength should be uh, equally opposite, opposite oppositely equal like you're pressing down through your right leg but in the meantime you're lifting yourself up by with your right uh, left foot exhale release and meet the right uh, left foot with the right foot and come into a full full uh, full full breathe here Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, roll yourself up into Tadasana. Let's bring it into other side. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, come into a downward facing dog. 
in the two of your legs should feel very differently at this moment. And inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring it in front of your hands. And right knee down, coming into this low lunge pose. Arms up, chest up. Shoulders away from your ears. And half split. Exhale, bring the hips back. Flex the right toes. Half, slip, half split. And let's flow it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hips back, arms swing back. Half splitting. Inhale, up. Two more rounds. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. One more time. Exhale, back. Balancing. Keep the balance. Inhale, up. Tuck your right toes. Lift your right knees. Come into a high lunge. Stay here for one round of breaths. Exhale, come into warrior two. Open up your chest, arms uh, extended in line with your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, reverse your warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle pose, uh, left hand on, on the floor, floor. If you did on the other side with the bind, Let's do on the this side as well. Otherwise, just stay in this side, uh, extended side angle. Okay, externally rotate your right arm, right shoulder. And bring your hand to touch the left side. And bring your left hand to meet with your right. And take a bind. Gaze up or gaze down or gaze forward. And your choice. Stay here for three rounds of breath. Open your chest. And release. Bring your left hand onto the floor. Extend your right, your left leg. Bring your right arm up. And bring yourself up into a reverse triangle pose. Come into a triangle pose. Exhale, swing your right hand onto the floor and right foot 45 degrees a little closer to the right, uh, left. And fold forward into your left knee. Extend pyramid pose. You feel the entire left leg strengthened and stretched. Hip square. And slowly let's transition into a warrior three pose. Bring your right um, leg up and your upper body up. Takes a lot of shaking to balance it out, but you can do it. Two rounds of breaths. Exhale, standing split pose. Lift, um, ground down with your left foot, but lift your right, your left kneecap, so that you engage your um, left legs, left thighs. Exhale, release, come into a forward fold. Inhale here, halfway lengthen. Exhale, roll yourself up into a mountain pose. Arms up and center at your chest. Let's uh, bring our legs um, wide. Uh, a, a little bit wider than shoulder uh, shoulder width distance and uh, let's uh, bring our hips down uh, come into a yoga squat yogi squat malasana, malasana. you try to push away your knees with your elbows and your um, hands together 
like Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Bring your sit bone down to the ground and lifting your entire body, your spine up to the sky. Inhale, exhale. And let's slowly come to sit down on our mat. I'm gonna face the front of my mat. And let's come into a forward, seated, seated forward bend. Okay, legs extended out in front of you. Inhale, lift your upper body, straighten your upper body. Exhale, bend at the hips. Try to reach your knees with your forehead. And rest your arms alongside of your legs. Neck lengthens and breathe here. Five rounds of breaths. Inhale, slowly push yourself up into seated. And uh, let's bring the uh, right leg, right foot outside of your left knee and hold the, uh, the right knee with your left arms and, and come to twist to the right side. Bring, support your body up, uplifting with your right hand on the ground behind of you. Breathe here, three on the breast here. Twist, twist, twist. Exhale, come back to center and switch sides. Bring the left foot outside of your right knee and hold your left knee and turn around, turn your body to face the left side, but twist from belly button. Support yourself to lift up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Three rounds of breath here. Exhale, release. And let's bring the, uh, the soles of our feet to together and come into a seated bound angle pose. Seated butterfly. Sit yourself up and tall with your knees uh, flipped out. Let, the, let them just open wide by their own weights. And you can either fold forward or sit up and tall as your choice. I'm going to fold forward a little bit. Stay here for three to five rounds of breath. We're cooling down, so just give yourself more time to release. Slowly bring yourself up and let's come to our back all, all again. How we started. Bring the, bring the knees into the chest and legs, uh, knees bent at 90 degree angle, something like this. And your arms out um, next to you, extended um, like a T shape. And let's do a few rounds of belly twisting. This is really good for our, um, our belly and our stomach and our digestion system. Um, inhale here, exhale, bring the, bring the knees and legs all the way to the right. Maintain your upper body um, position. Don't let it twist, turn around together with, with the legs. And stay here in this twisting. Inhale back to center. Use your core strength. Exhale on the other side. 
bring the legs all the way to the other side. Stay here for two rounds of breath. Inhale back to center and let's do one more time. Right side. Your core should be engaged here. Don't let your body swing around with the legs. Back to center. Exhale the other side. One more time. And bring our knees all the way back to give a squeeze into our chest. Um, you can hold your knees like a bow and roll your body side to side. Make sure your back, low back is flat on the floor. So it's kind of like a massaging to the low back. It's really good. Feels really good. And uh, then you can just roll yourself like up and down up and down back and forward back and forward until you can roll yourself all the way back into squat again and that's it let's come into the center of our mat and come into a seated position and let's close off our practice today with a Big breaths in, arms up, and hands down together at the heart center. Saying thank you to yourself for taking out this time to do this practice with me. And thank you very much. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this um, um, solar plexus chakra opening flow and uh, it's really beneficial for at least for myself and i hope you enjoy it and uh, i'll hope to see you in my next episode bye bye